Big fan of using random Did you give meats. me a piece of string? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to eat the string. It's edible? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> it's 115 degrees in the car. We're about to eat some uh, steaming hot pizza pretzels from Wetzel's. I'm pretty sure my armpit sweat is turned into a waterfall and mm -hmm. it's running down the side of my body. And I might need to go steal the shower in Rhett and Link's uh, side of the building. You know, every single day I work out and get fully drenched in sweat and then I just sit in this car and rub all, like you can literally Is see, it on my elbow? You can see salt deposits in my car. Is that what that is? Yeah. It like, like faded you, a little bit. If you tasted that, it'd be salty. I'm look. not licking your freaking vehicle. <laughs> I'm saying you should, I'm saying if you did. I mean, we got the pizza pretzels from Wetzel's. Yeah. We got these at the mall. Is it one Sorry. As far I don't as what's happening in here. rude pretzel makers go, you know, look, I don't need service with a smile with my pretzel, but gotta say, Wetzel's today, not on their A game. We didn't get any sauce. What's up with that? We didn't get no sauce. Mm -hmm. I think we can go harder on the actual pretzelness, because like pretzels are boiled and they got the brown crusties on them. This is a beautiful mall snack. Yeah, we it's can. It's like hot dog on a stick. Yeah, you we just, can do this. You're eating it on the way from Spencer's to Hot Topic to get yeah. a new Slipknot shirt. I don't know what a Slipknot is, but I'm gonna disagree and not. Ah. I know what the hell I'm about hell to stick my about. fingers into my eyes. Um, <laughs> don't do that. You're not gonna be able to see transition glasses. Oh, they're not dark. That's good. Okay, yeah. But we gotta do this ourselves. This. Have you ever made pretzels? I've never made a pretzel, but I'm really excited to make one today. And really too excited to just make it like fancy with a whole bunch of truffles and stuff. That's what I expect we're gonna use. Truffle's right? gonna be a good way or good route to go. Pizza and truffle, I think, is a good combination. We can obviously get some really good salami, some really good cured meats. Mm -hmm. Obviously, really good cheeses, but the dough, the dough is where we're gonna make our money today, V. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. I'm we really excited. I got some ideas. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get it. V, we gotta start making our fancy pretzel. Uh, with lamb. Yes, which explains why we have a bunch of lamb belly crisping up in a pan. Is that going in our pretzel? I, I was just holding this. I kind of liked it. It's kind of like a rose. It's like I, a little, oh, like, would you like to... Oh, thank yeah, you. It's yeah. like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I'm the Beast. Yeah, I'm definitely the Beauty. Yeah, no, I, uh-huh. No, I'm a piece of crap. Uh, so <laughs> Normally on the show, we make like, we did a whole Jack in the Box munchie meal where we made like mm -hmm. eight different things. We have one pretzel, so we really gotta yes. get this right. So oh. I kinda I kind of wanna get weird with it and I wanna make what's called induya. Have you had induya before? It's like a meat spread, right? Yeah, it's it's literally like salami it butter. Okay. Uh, the way you would typically make it is you would cure a bunch of pork belly and then you would blend it with spices and salt and then you stuff that into an ox butthole. Oh. Uh, and then you hang that to like wet cure in a high humid environment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then you just let it hang there. We're not gonna do that. So we're gonna make our kind of janky bootleg version, albeit a really fancy janky bootleg version. So we got lamb belly crisping up in a pan, which lamb belly, mm -hmm. I know you like lamb. I love lamb, but I love lamb chops. This is the first time I've tried lamb belly. You don't like blended lamb smoothies? Oh, I'm going to. I feel like I'm to going to. Learn to live. You know, I'm good too. You know, you already <laughs> said meat back in a butthole, so I already yeah. don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, that's one of those things about like, uh, especially like Northern European food culture is a lot of it was just stuffing salted meats into a butthole. Or stomach. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or like a stomach, yeah. But this is specifically in an ox bung. Um, we didn't, we didn't get that. There's nothing fancy about buttholes. You know, I think there's something democratic about buttholes. There could be something fancy about buttholes. Yeah. You just gotta dress it up. It's gotta know? be the right Paint hole. Paint it. <laughs> yeah, everyone can. Paint a butthole. <laughs> like they had a. <laughs> I love induya on pizza. It's kind of like a northern Italian thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know what I'm just like, give those spices a toss. I'm gonna take, yeah, yeah, yeah. here, try this wild boar salami. Oh, you're speaking my language. Got the big old peppercorns in it. Big fan of using random Did you give meats. me a piece of string? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to eat the string. It's edible? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. All right, can you like toss that, do you see the peppers? Oh, okay. Typically this is from uh, southern Italy, I believe. Or are we Dude, just I chopped up so much string into this. Wait. Here, I'm gonna feed you more salami to give okay. you give you energy. Yeah, I was doing that because I didn't have breakfast this morning. During long workouts, like to keep a pocket full of salami. Really? Where do you put uh -huh. it? Well, I, I don't have pockets, so I just kind of just keep it down there. Uh, well, you probably wear jorts when you work out, so. I actually do. I actually do wear jorts. I've torn a couple of nice pairs of jorts though. Because <laughs> these aren't my nice shorts. <laughs> Um, These are my casual jorts. Okay. So we're gonna blend this with a lot of butter to sort of like uh, uh, get the get the pastiness in it. And then I don't know if this is gonna work. What kind of butter is this? A it's like British it. butter. Try it. Give me a little piece. D, it's bulking season. Wait, this is dangerous. It's yeah, but I'm not knife. supposed to bulk with butter. I'm supposed to bulk with protein. Dude, no, bulk with butter's protein. Give me that little piece that you What do you do to bulk? Right you, there. You, if you want to deadlift a lot, you take butter and you put it in your salami and you eat it. Uh huh. Ooh. I butter up the salami before I put it in my pants so it slides in easier. Uh, I don't like it. I have some good butter. What? You don't like the butter salami? Why? I don't like the butter by itself. It was right. a little <coughs> strong. Oh, shoot. I can put the butter in the lamb. Here. Well, we get that yeah. butter warming. You see, you over I'm here. Gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna grind up the spices. Ugh. 
Harissa is a North African pepper <laughs> based <laughs> condiment. Greasy. So we have caraway, we have coriander seed, we have cumin seed going in here. This is gonna give our little meat paste a lot of fantastic flavor. Okay. Wow, this is supposed wow. to be super buttery like smell this? this. Wow. Oh, go right. I smell oh, no, no, pull up, pull up, pull up. We just want one blur. We just want one blur. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Ow. You want to dump it in there? Yeah, dump it in, dump it in, dump it in. All right, I don't want to burn your face. No, no, burn me. No, you already burn yourself enough. That's <laughs> true. Not using utensils when you cook. All right, we dump in all the spices. Get a little hot paprika in there. Okay. What about, oh, did you already put tomato paste in? No, you want to dump tomato paste in? Yes. Just That's a little okay. bit. Yeah, I want this super, super red. We don't need any additional salt going in here because uh, <laughs> it's just a salami smoothie. It's gonna be Bam. real salty. What else do we need? A little oil. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. A little, a little oil though. Yeah. We're gonna stream in. This is the fanciest oil that you can get at the Smart and Final. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't diss Smart and Final like that. <laughs> Smart and Final, it's where you go save lots of money, shop like a pro. Come on uh, now. Help. Did you get it? I don't know. I was waiting is for you to work? get it before I helped it you. <laughs> Cause you do that to me. Dang it. There it is. Yeah, yeah, so you want the food processor to struggle against it. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna really hold it tight. Because again, you are just blending a lot of meat together. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to do this. We should've, we should've gotten a couple ox buttholes. Uh, we should've made it fancy by putting some gold leaf on the butthole. And then we should've stuffed it in there and just let it hang in Rhett and Link's office for a month. Oh, you we would've came back and found us after that. We, we are so disadvantaged in the Mythical Kitchen because we don't have a wet curing room for a butthole salami. Oh, that smells so good. Eat this one. This is Pinocchiona. Pinocchiona is typically my favorite salami. Uh, it's uh, fennel seed, which is a delight because it tastes like Mama Celeste pizzas. Wow, it sure does. It tastes just the pizza. Like, yeah. this is the whole flavor of pizza in one bite. Fennel seed. Well, let's give it a taste. See where we're at. There you go. Oh, okay. Eat your meat spread. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, no, that's amazing. Biting into a pretzel and just getting a mouthful of that. I don't know if it's gonna work, because it might leak out of the pretzel. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna eat it anyway. Have you ever made pretzels before? Uh, no, this is my first time. All right, cool, cool, cool. Is um, it yours? No, I uh, I made pretzels once for a magazine. I had to act like I was an expert, which is a very fancy thing you can do, is lie about your qualifications. Yep. <laughs> and then I made it for Willet pretzel, but we added a bunch of like Pepto-Bismol and stuff to it, so this is a little bit different. I've never tried to make pretzels like really good, uh, but frick, we're gonna do it today in the yeah. words of, of Trevor E. Farts. You wanna cut that truffle in half? Sure. This is a, a white, this is a tartufo oh. bianco. I like how he starts saying it in English, it's like, nah, say it in Italian, it's fancier. Whoa. Tartufo bianco di alba, yeah, smell that. Whoa. This is, white truffles are about three times the price of black truffles, especially when they're in season or just at the beginning of truffle season right now. And so this is just gonna be like, Whoa, That's real freaking so... heady here. Great, like a whole lot of that, just right into yeah. the flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add this yeast blooming to the water with barley malt syrup. Barley malt syrup is something that's really typical of both pretzels and mm. bagels. There uh, we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Open there we a go. package. Truffles are very silly to me. I really enjoy truffle. Um, it's not something that I would spend my personal money on per se. But oh I will crap! Truffle well, that's okay. Oh that's my okay. Gosh. No, that's about as much as we wanted. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. All right, this is already going great. Yeah, you know, uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I put a lot of truffle in here. You dropped the honey. It's a good thing. Yeast great and honey tea. covered in my fingers. Oh yeah, V started this day just covered an entire yeah. cup of coffee. I spilled Trevor's coffee. On my pants. <laughs> it looked like I peed. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a, a rash from that. That happens. All right, so we're just gonna let oh. that sit right there. That happens. You, you, your coffee's acidic. It's gonna give you a rash. Okay, is that good? That looks good. Good, I do. Keep going with the truffle. Yes, yeah, sure. So I'll that, but then I'll also save a lot so we can grate it fresh on top. And then we're gonna add some Herbe de Provence in here. Uh, God, I wish I knew the herbs that are in there. There's like savory, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, and this mm -hmm. one actually has lavender buds in it. Lavender grows in Provence, but lavender is typically not part of Herbe's to Provence, but a lot of so, Americans think that it is because lavender is, such, is so big in right. the uh, provincial region. Ah, fun facts with Josh and V. So this is an Italian spiced honey wheat ale, oh. which I think is actually gonna go really well with this. We don't want too dark of a beer to obscure the truffle flavor. Uh -huh. There's gonna be a little bit of that bitterness and then the spices and the honey coming through. This is gonna be the most flavorful pretzel anyone's freaking had. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. What does the beer do actually like? So beer uh, alcohol is technically just sugar, right? So you're adding a little bit more sugar in there, which is gonna help the yeast rise, you wanna toss the butter in there. Yeah. 
So you're adding sugar in there, but also there is yeast in beer. It's a little bit overstated, the leavening properties that can have, but you're also right. adding some carbonation in there. Moreover though, you're just gonna get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of bitter. I think a lot of people over overthink some things in cooking. So if it's like, what's the beer gonna do if I add it to my chili? It's like, it's gonna make it taste like beer, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I and mean, so that's why what would we're I doing. want my chili to taste like beer? I agree with that. And it's like, if you add, so beer is like quite bitter, right? And so if you add more bitter to a recipe, that means you can typically add more spice, more fat, because it's all gonna mm -hmm. sort of balance. This pretzel dough is just gonna work for about five to seven minutes. So we're okay. gonna cover it, pop it in uh, the fridge to proof, and then we're gonna then we're gonna start rolling out our pretzels. pretzels. I guess. We got, wow. <laughs> we got that's like, a snake. We got like a three foot long log of dough. Let's roll it out just a little bit more. So okay. what you wanna do is you wanna pick your hands on it and then roll it and gradually spread your hands apart, and then that's gonna continue rolling the pretzel log. And a lot of people think that you should like flour everything when you're rolling it out, but here, wet your hands and try it. It's gonna be a lot easier because yeah. it's gonna create um what's it called tensile friction. People can't know I'm dumb. Okay, we're good. Here, yeah. Trying to kind of give it. Let's extend it a little. We're gonna do a little snake. Wiggle. Yeah, make it a jump rope. You want to try it? Yeah, no. No, we're not. No, 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 no. Okay, my idea here, let's just go down some pretzel theory, is that yeah. we can we can this? roll out about 30% of this till it's flat. Okay, and then stuff it with some goodies. Yeah, with the meat paste. Meat paste. And roll it back up, seal it with our wet hands, and so I suppose like, ain't nothing to it but to do it right now. Okay. So let's just try. You want to kind of like, give me some slack here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cut when I'm like slack. rolling out. I don't know how to s cut slack, but okay. we'll make it work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm really just gonna uh, don't, wiggle it. Don't wiggle it. Just, really like, hold just, it. Wiggle just like hold it. Just like hold it until it doesn't rip. What are you wiggling for? I don't know. It just All seemed right. like the right thing to do. All right, so I'm gonna kind of like give myself a little trough here. Okay. To get some of that meat paste in. When we were like looking up Wetzel's pretzel stuff, I went down a rabbit hole of just uh, finding elite Yelpers who one starred Wetzel's pretzels in malls, because I think that's the most <laughs> hilarious. If you're an elite Yelper, one, you're probably a bad person. I'm gonna throw that one out there. I'm gonna yeah, alienate how do you our even elite Yelp. Get to that status. And then to go after a mall Wetzel's pretzels with a 16 year old making minimum wage there? Come on. Look, I don't need service with a smile with my pretzel, but gotta say, Wetzel's today, not on their A game. But anyways, the Wetzel family, they don't care about the pretzels anymore. They got Blaze Pizza, they got LeBron. Just kinda curl just it up. Just plop it? Just like plop, not too much, but just plop it in, and just then we're gonna it. try and. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like that? Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> you said a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Here, I'm gonna grab a spoon uh, and start yeah, yeah. going at it. Yeah, yeah, grab it on a spoon. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, just yeah. go. Takes a village. We're only two people. Dude, you ever like drive by those towns on the side of the road when you're like on a road trip up to Pismo Beach to go ride quabs in the dunes? <laughs> and then it'll be like population nine. It's like, do they need a sign? <laughs> Who lives here? Do they need a sign, the nine people? Yeah, they do, because they want to know when an extra person is there. <laughs> they have to know. So now we're gonna roll it over. And pinch? And then pinch it, but make sure you wet your hands when you pinch, because that's it. what's gonna get the dough to Meat really stick finger. back together. Am I doing this right? I feel like I'm pinching this like a dumpling. Yeah, yeah you should. We're boiling it in activated sodium bicarbonate, aka uh, baking soda. And so we do baking have to soda. boil, this dough has to be sturdy enough to be boiled and then baked. If this breaches um, like, a, a, like a crowning porpoise being born tail first, we then we're screwed. Over. No, we're not. We're gonna get this right and Trevor's gonna be it's so gonna be proud awesome. of us. It's gonna be us. the coolest pretzel of all time. When people in the pitch meeting said, pretzel, that's a dumb idea. So stupid, but you know what? Stupid is our middle name. Stupid is, that stupid does. I've been on a real big boat. Oh, oh yeah. God. Now do we gotta roll what? it. I'm gonna just watch you and just be supported from over here. You gotta do it like this. Then you're gonna go around that. And you, hey and you do one of those. Is it supposed, is the the head supposed to be that big? What? Around the body? Yeah, yeah, but it's supposed to be, you know. That's the body. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the roof proof. You familiar with the roof proof? I am not. All right, so it's 63 degrees in this kitchen. This room used to be called the cold box before it was called the mythical kitchen set. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you're gonna put this on. Yeah. Your vehicle. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna go outside. throw this on top. Top of, uh, of uh, Bertha, my 2017 certified pre owned Nissan Altima. That's her name? Yeah, wait, 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 hold on. You got uh, uh, plastic wrap, plastic wrap, plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. <laughs> plastic wrap. All right, so I'm going to take the, the pretzel, your splapper on there. Plastic. All right, cover it in plastic wrap, then I'm going to go run, do the roof proof. Go. Right. And roof go, proof. Go, 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 go. Uh, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh. Uh. You know they give you the little cup of pizza sauce? Yeah, sometimes I like to just eat a soup. You're just ripping shots of Wetzel's pizza sauce? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude, that's metal, that's yeah, red, that's yeah, red. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make our own pizza sauce right now, but we're gonna do a little lighter, a little brighter. We got a lot of big flavors yeah. in there. So I wanna go like white wine, white anchovy, AKA bocarones, Ooh. a little bit of fresh oregano in there. So right now we got the last of the season heirloom tomatoes. Ugh, smell that. Doesn't Ugh. smell like anything, but 
Uh, it smells like tomatoes. These are cored, they are scored, and we're gonna do what's kind of called like a concasse, okay. which is a method of boiling uh, just for a couple seconds. I see you on your to... rhymes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did I rhyme? Yeah. I don't even notice. I'm just kind of dumb and don't notice when I rhyme things. <laughs> All right, so a uh, great trick to get the tomatoes out, you just put your hands in cold water mm -hmm. and you just plunge it right into the boiling oh, water. Oh. And then you pop it right in there. Can I drop one in there? Yeah, yeah drop one in, drop one in, drop one in. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now, ah. That's hot. Uh, garlic, 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 garlic. Go. Yeah, put two in there, put two in there. Let's try. Put two in there. And then we're just gonna cut it with a little bit of white wine. It's just a Sauvignon Blanc. You know, we probably got it for $8 at the BevMo. <laughs> yeah, 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 wait, I need your strong hands to get the what? tomatoes out. You get the tomatoes out? All right, yeah, cool. I can well, do that. Here, peel that. Yes. Here, okay, strong hands. Soak it in. Ow. Don't burn yourself, but you, got it. you know. You just gotta get your hands in cold water. I wonder when your hands nope, just start, decided <laughs> to go, no, I lied, he burned himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we go, oh shoot. No, that's cool. Well, we're gonna turn Wait, this into like a little brown butter what's white happening? wine tomato sauce. We're just gonna brown that, just go with go with the flow. You forgot Here. one. What? Oh, the last right, homie, man, you can't let one just All right, yeah, so himself. we're gonna brown that butter and then we're gonna add the garlic to it and then we're gonna toss in a couple whole anchovy fillets. You ever just eat white anchovies by themselves? I'm not an anchovy fan. Uh, I got dared one time to do it when I was 13 for Fear Factor. I could have like won $20, but I was being stupid and I didn't do it. Oh. Briny. At first, it's like a little harsh. Yeah, and definitely. And then afterwards, it's kind of nice. I'm definitely. Not gonna lie. It's pretty pleasant. So we're just gonna saute this around. Yeah. If you, God, that's hot. You know what, the brown butter is gonna really act. I'm gonna what, screw What's it. happening If over your there? butter starts burning, pour wine in the pot, oh, screw okay. it. I mean, the butter's not burning. We meant to make a brown butter sauce. No, we know how to cook here, it's fine. Oh. All right, so we're cutting the tomatoes in half. We got them oh, skinned, on. and now we're just gonna seed them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and just crush it by hand right into the sauce. And we're so just you just break squeezed it like you were mad at it? Yeah. And then we're just gonna break that up with a spoon, get it reduced, and add a little bit of salt to it. Well, they think fidget spinners are good therapy. <laughs> they haven't crushed tomatoes with their hands. I like crushing all foods with my hands. It's like, you ever just take a Taco Bell burrito and you put it up to your mouth and you just crush it with your hand and all the insides squirt down your throat? Mm, no. That's like a thing everybody does though, right? Um. Uh, and then we're gonna get a rash from all the tomato juice. Just gonna toss a couple of red, fresh oregano branches in there, kind of perfume it up, cook this down, get it nice and reduced. You ready? Yeah. Oh God, that actually hit me in the face. You have a pretzel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof proof worked. Uh, it's definitely puffed up and it's gonna puff up a lot more in the oven. We're just gonna take this mystery white powder and we're gonna yeah. add it to this water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't send that through the mail. So that was baking soda that's been baked. Uh, that's to activate the sodium bicarbonate in okay. it. And uh, this, is how, this is how you make pretzels. Typically be done with like lye or something, but you know, whatever. Interesting. Um, we, we just, we just got- So how are we gonna get this in there? Uh, you got any good ideas? Use our athleticism? Use our athleticism. Yeah. That's what it is. All right, be natural athletes about it. You gotta tighten the core. Okay. You gotta get those pelvocoxygeal muscles flaring. You gotta do your kegels every My day. My back already hurts. All right, so we're just gonna lift it wait, up, wait, support wait, wait. it. One, two, two go. Three. And pop it in, and then that's just gonna boil for about 20 seconds here. Oh, oh, give me like this, I'm gonna like splash it so we don't have to flip it. I'm gonna splash it over. Oh, okay, and, I thought oh, that was for shit, egg wash, dude, How are we gonna get fine. it out? Count like eight seconds. Eight, okay. nine, seven. I Why are you counting up? <laughs> Why are you counting I'm up? Are you gonna go from eight to 16? Oh, how do we get it out? 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 We gotta strain it over the sink. I'm just gonna go to the sink and figure it out. Do you need help? No. I got it. Do you want me to waddle over there? Yeah, yeah, waddle over here. Wow. Oh, we kind of did it. Uh, you want to here, spread that and do your grease around because we're just going to bake it right on this. Can I just use my finger? Yeah, yeah, just finger paint. You're going to do it. Paint me the song of your words. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly. Is that the lyrics? So I think this is how a pretzel is supposed to be. And that looks pretty accurate it. to me. Just kind of like close these bow this out a little bit. That's good. The induce is held in there. Like, no, mostly. Incredible. Got a little bit of grease going around, but that's cool. <laughs> It'll soak it up. Dude, heck yeah. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to. Lightning bolt. What are you doing? Are you trying to be a know. magician Dude, right now? I don't now? know. Uh, you want to just egg wash this down? We're going to egg wash this down. That's going to give it a nice brown crust. Yeah. Then pop it in a 500 degree oven for about five minutes. Par bake it mm -hmm. so the cheese doesn't get too crusty and we can get the dough cooked. And then we're going to put cheese and salami and more truffle on it. What about this oregano right Oh, yeah. Here? We're just going to shake the <laughs> oregano salt. branch at it just kind of as like a weird like little ritual. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're going to yeah. do some voodoo on it. Yeah, yeah. Go a little heavier on that egg wash. Like okay. really just paint it on there. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. needs to be super brown. Yeah. I don't know. This is going to work. It's, it's going to taste freaking good. It's the gonna bones work. are there. We got to be positive. The dough is dope. Got really good ingredients in there. Yeah. The filling is dope. I hope it doesn't leak out. Probably. Who cares? And then the stuff going on top is just really tasty. We have finocchio and salami and aged Asiago Prasato. <laughs> All right. 500 degree oven. Uh, now we pray. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. So some of the meat paste has leaked out, but I'm not worried about that because now our pretzel Whoa. is just confiting and spicy meat fat. So now what we're going to do, we got to put some salt on it that we definitely didn't forget to put on. No, not at all. 
Uh, truffle, truffle, truffle. Okay. Here, just like grate a ton of the truffle all over that. So what I want to do, I want to get the truffle all over the pretzel, and then we're going to top it with the cheese, and the cheese fat is actually going to really express it. I, I go even closer so you get it like right on there. Right there? Yeah. 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 Wait, let me try. Just like... Don't, don't really... mess up the dough. There we go. Well, I'm not messing up the dough. You didn't mess up the dough. Yeah, we want to like really cover that in fresh truffle shavings. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so look. you're going to go there. I'm going to trail you with this Asiago Prasato. How am yeah. I supposed to see? I already wear contacts. The only you're see. an athlete. What does that have to do with seeing? What? Athletes don't need to see. Jean Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. Chong Lee threw the powder in his eyes. He couldn't see, and he still knocked him out in the Kumite. Who the? God, watch an your, art film for once. Your logic is so questionable sometimes. What do you mean? That's why I practice doing the splits every day, so I can be like Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> I've never seen you do the splits. Yeah, I do it in the are bathroom. You, are you doing them in jorts? I do it while I admit, do my meetings in the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta put two squatty potties on the sides, and then you're just, ah! That's the noise that Jean-Claude Van Damme makes all the time. Check it out. So I'm getting pretty close. Let me get some cheese chops here. Start shingling on. This is more uh, this is pinocchio and salami. They're not doing any tricks with the wild boar or the duck. This is just a good ass salami. I didn't like believe in this. <laughs> I did. For a while. Oh, that's great. Good for you, B. Good for you. You like, had me at trouble. I almost drooled. You did drool I almost drooled and bit. I caught it in my hand. Good for you. Wow, wow, wow. Here, I'm going to do, I'm going to shake the oregano branch at it and then I'm going to rain some fresh oregano on there. Oh, is, are you sure that's oregano? Yeah, oregano's Wow, normally, that looks pretty beautiful to me. It's only purple. Dude! Dude! Picasso of the pretzel. Dude! Let's go. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. Wetzel Pretzel, where are you at? I'm really proud of what we did. No, this is like a masterpiece. This is a freaking masterpiece. While it's still warm, I'm just gonna grate the rest of this fresh truffle over the top. We got the fresh truffle. You can't take it with you when you die. When I die, bury or <laughs> cremate me with truffle. Actually, no, creamy, so the air could smell just like this. Oh god, the thought of your dead body perfuming the Burbank air, because I'm assuming you're gonna get cremated in Burbank. So yeah, we got the whole truffle on there now. Let's compare it to the original Wetzel's pizza pretzel. We got it in here. This is This is uh is this, this is a pretzel? This is a bum pretzel. Like, I love Wetzel's at the mall, you know. They like kind of smush it within the middle. That's this something we didn't wild. do. Like it's pressed down. Yeah, they mashed at it. This is dark. All now right. it's a U. Well. That's how I feel right now. There's a crusty old mall pretzel, baby. You're walking around, you're going to pack sun, you're eating that pretzel. I used that to wasn't work a at joke. PacSun. That was like my second job you, ever. You look like you work at PacSun with that hair. Bro. I'm gonna chew this for the next like 30 seconds. Let's dig into this. We're just gonna start ripping, right? Yeah. So the Anduya is in this hemisphere. So that's where we need right? to get our yeah, first yeah. pieces. I am shocked that Anduya held in there. I'm just gonna take this big old log. I'm just oh. not shocked at anything we do anymore. Dude, it's stuffed with the meat paste. We got it. I'm gonna go first bite, no sauce. <laughs> okay, no Cheers. sauce. Oh, whoa. Dude, what a flavor bomb though. Wait, I wanna, mm. Mm. Give me silence while the truffles mm. wash over me. Mmm. Give me some whale this moan. This is. Oh. Give me some calming whale moan noises while the truffles wash over. Mm. Yeah, that's like, mm. I'm glad we forgot to put the salt on. <laughs> this is a delicious salt bomb. As it should yeah. be, it's a freaking pretzel. All the get... salami kind of like made the salt instead of us just putting it on it, oh. you know? Like it was already pretty salty, so. Oh my. It mm. did that for us. The sauce. The marinara mar 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 um, sauce. This is a masterpiece. One of the best things that we did today is that freaking sauce. I'm about to figure it out. It's just sweet. Out. It's got umami in it. I want to get, I mean, some of the part without. Just to try that fresh truffle dough. We got a great texture <laughs> on the pretzel though. I mean, like, look at that. <laughs> it's a man -trailers. Fish for breakfast is good. Bodybuilders do it. Josh, we made this extravagant piece of art. <laughs> How much did it cost? Uh, well, you can't put a price tag on art, but we did. It's $569.12. Most of that's going into that white truffle. Yeah. Not going to BS yet. But I mean, there was a lot of other fancy ingredients going on here. V, this is a spectacular event. I, I, I oh. am floored by what we've able, been able to accomplish. Cheers. Uh, thank thank you. you for all this. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got. I forgot I was doing an outro. Well, you have to go out every week. Right here. Well, we have to do a podcast out we, every Wednesday. Put it up on Instagram at Mingle Kitchen. We're on Twitter, but find us there too. Hashtag Green Become Food. See y'all next time. The Mythical Kitchen's favorite way to obliterate garlic immortalized in t shirt form. Get the Palm Heel Strike tea now at mythical.com.